Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We've talked about our favorite Mac utilities or applications. We've talked about our favorite Windows programs or applications. Now, what about Linux? Uh, well, let's talk about that for a second. We've written an article just for you uh, if you are interested in getting started with Linux because chances are if you already know about Linux, a lot of what we're going to share is old hat, not red hat, that, that's a Linux distro. See, that's the thing you got to understand about Linux. Linux isn't Windows. Windows, that's, that's what it is. OS 10, that's what it is. Linux has a gazillion possible different flavors. It's a platform upon which all these operating systems based on Linux are built. So uh, Ubuntu is probably a good place for you to start. It's relatively user-friendly, although some people really don't like the uh, future or today's present of uh, the GNOME 3 interface inside Ubuntu. Uh, that may change, and it likely will change as uh, it evolves. So uh, Linux may be for you if uh, Windows isn't or Mac OS X isn't. It's an option. And there's plenty of software that's available for Linux. And it's software that you've probably already heard about before, including image editors like GIMP, uh, including Chromium uh, that, you know, you could run essentially Google Chrome on Linux, although it's, you know, the Chromium project that's upon which Google Chrome is built. Thunderbird, an email application you may have used on Windows or Mac OS X before. Pigeon, which you may have used on Windows before. Uh, VLC, which you've used cross-platform. Here's the thing. The list kind of goes on and on. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. It really doesn't matter which OS you use. You can use Linux and still access many of your favorite applications, whether they're based on the web and you use a web browser to get there, or they're on the desktop, because chances are you've used them anyway on Windows or Mac OS X. Uh, I think, you know, more than anything, I look for cross-platform solutions because I know that our entire audience isn't just using Windows. They're not just using Linux. They're not just using Mac OS X. It's across the board, and you know what? That's cool. You know, it's, it's better for you to understand a little bit of each of these operating systems rather than a whole lot of one to make yourself a balanced geek. Now, it's good to know a whole lot of one and a little bit of the others, but you definitely want to know at least a little bit of the others to be familiar with it so that you are, well, more of a renaissance geek. And Linux doesn't really cost you anything. It's open source. You can install it easily using Parallels. Uh, they make it uh, rather point-click simple to do. Uh, you could do it inside a virtual box. Not as simple, but that is totally free, open source. And by the way, free is not open source. You know, they're not interchangeable words. But you also have to think about a total cost of ownership, too, if you're talking about switching from, say, Windows to Linux. It's absolutely an option. And the software is there to support you. We've given you a basic list, uh, an initial list for you to start with. Uh, and if we've missed anything, especially for Linux beginners, let us know what are some must-have applications for a new Linux user. My suggestion, and I make this recommendation, go, go back and look at the videos. Not, not even kidding about this at all. You will succeed with Linux. You will love Linux if and only if you don't treat it like it's Windows or OS X, and I say the same thing interchangeably with any of these operating systems. Mac OS X is great, so long as you don't treat it like Windows. Windows is great, so long as you don't treat it like Linux. They all have their benefits and drawbacks, but the point is, if you have not tried Linux before, give it a shot. We've got a, a few starter points for you that could make it a full experience, just as full as you've had on Windows or Mac OS X to this point. And here's the thing, why not? Take a look at the article, hopefully you like it, and you'll share it with others.